How are we doing? They have so many PC parts so many things guys welcome josh and Britt. they are gonna be helping this new builder pc hello hello very nice very hello. nice welcome to the live stream welcome <laughs> so how do you guys usually start just start outside so, of the pc yes. yeah so that's gonna be start, the easiest way we'll start off with the the motherboard there then we'll get everything we can onto the motherboard i would case. say take all your boxes and uh move them to the floor so you can have your pc uh case and get your uh keep your motherboard Ooh, okay, let's see so what it looks like take it out i love taking out Ooh, motherboards okay. they're so nice they're nice i'm gonna break something oh my chat's already like i'm here for the chaos so you should have a um bag in there with your screws in there since we're gonna be installing the motherboard first you're gonna want to find your stand off screws i want to see the case like yes. what does it look like nice very nice very nice I do oh, like yeah, there's a lot of room. There's a lot. Oh, I like it. Yeah. We'll have her start with uh, putting the CPU in. Yes, sounds good to me. So we have named Ryzen 7 5800X. Yes, eight core, 16 thread. Yeah, so when you're taking it out, don't like um, put your fingers all in the back of it. There's grooves on your motherboard yes. that when you go to put your uh, CPU in, you'll have to lift up that lever on your motherboard. I just lift it now. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. If you look on the motherboard, can you see that there's a little there arrow? Go. It yeah, should yeah. be in the top left, mm -hmm. I think, normally on those boards. There's like a tiny little... What the fuck is the top of the, of the board? Uh, <laughs> let me... On your CPU, where you have that bar, right? You should see a little arrow on there. That's like indicating which way your uh, CPU is going to go in. So it will also have a notch, so match those up together. Oh, okay, so that's actually on the bottom. Uh -huh. So the little gold triangle goes with that triangle, and it's meant to yep. just drop in. It will yep. just, just drop, drop it in. Yeah. You'll need, feel it, like, move into pressure. the grooves. <laughs> it's in! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Don't press it's... too hard, but press good enough, like, slight pressure. To make oh, sure that's that my worst thing, when, when people say, like, oh, don't press too hard, and then I end up, like, pressing so hard because i have it <laughs> now we should go in with the air cooler yeah so for this cooler um those black brackets need to come off so you see the plate on the back of the board that plate stays in place for mm -hmm. this board but the brackets on the front on need the front to come off. those are the ones you have to remove oh those two things on the front need yeah, to come so off that... okay so this is our our bad boy so the first thing you'll need is the uh am4 brackets what we're doing is we're mounting like everything that we can onto the board before putting it in the case. Okay, so I've got cool. the spacers on. So grab the screws next and you want to screw them into those spacers uh, along with the bracket. So put your bracket on first and then screw them in. Do they go like that yep. facing the CPU? Yep, yep. that's right. So, so once you've got the brackets installed securely, the cooler basically sits on top of those. Cool. Yes, yeah, so next, just before you put the um, actual board in, other fans in the case, are they already all in? No. Didn't you say you had two fans that you have to put on the front? Yes. Get Are we sure this comes there. off? Back. You're going to think you're going to break it, but you're not. Oh, guys, I'm failing miserably at this. There's yeah. no way. Let me see There's, if I there is no, you can't just rip them out. There is no way. See the handle on the, on the bottom? There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm getting reinforcements. Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. No! Let's, let's go. No. I wanted to see it. Yay. No. This stream build has bruised my ego, broken a nail. Uh, yeah, so I guess then we'll just install the, the top uh, fan. two fans. So. Yeah. Fans are done. Yay. So that's basically everything in the case now then. So I just mm -hmm. need to install the motherboard. Ow. This is for the back fan, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, just like that. It's gone forever now. <laughs> oh, oh no, those, those, that's the those... worst. Where is it? The worst part is when you accidentally drop them behind the motherboard and then oh like, my they God. get stuck. It's yes. like, ah, now I've got to take out the motherboard. Hey, Yay. awesome, cool. Look at that. So, uh, motherboards, uh, make sure you do the um, front panel connector cables before you put the GPU in. Start feeding all these cables around to the front of the motherboard. So, if you take out your cable, you'll see the different holes in it that have uh, like the openings and stuff and match it up directly with the ones that are on the motherboard. Pretty much all the connectors on the board are like keyed, so yeah. it, you can't put them the wrong way around. Okay, well, that so. one's in. Oh, that's yep. going to be your power button and um, the lights, that little one right there. Guessing that like, the front LEDs run off the motherboard. Is she still working on the number nine? Nine is in, uh, nine yeah. is in. Nine, nine is in, okay. We have the power the power cables, right? Yep, so they should be labeled. The top leftmost pin is the power LED. 
plus. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So and you should plus have uh, you should left. see little plus arrows on the on the each side of them. I think they're in, but they they're not like leveled. They're like kind of just on there. No, nah, they never are. So I'll only be using the first four, basically the f first four. First four. Pins. four. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We've got your USB 3.1 connector, which is that big one we did first. We've got the audio for the front audio. You've got the RGB connected for the... For the front panel. For the front yep. panel. Cool. So, um, next then, we shall do the power supply. You know the cables you've purchased, the white ones? Yeah. Yeah, those are, those are extensions. Those extensions that will go on though. So... The extensions will attach to the ends of those black cables. Mm -hmm. If you grab the biggest cable of all of them, first of all. Yep. So yep. Um, mm -hmm. one side will plug into the uh, power supply and it is keyed as well so on the Corsair one. So it, it yep. only goes in one way. Okay. Do I put this in the so PC we'll, and we'll, then we'll, No, we'll attach, we'll attach the cables to the p uh, power supply first before you put it in. Yeah, because it can be kind of difficult see. when you're trying to put them in when it's already in the case. It'll be much yeah. easier to Alrighty, just put right. everything in there and screw okay, it in. Okay, so does the big end go in? Yep. Yep. On the top right is where that one goes. Oh, I think you've got it upside down. <laughs> Sorry, there. that's confusing. <laughs> upside yeah, down yeah. and backwards. Yeah, they're, they're very difficult to push in, the power supply cables. Okay, so she needs the CPU cable now. So on your power supply, just where you've plugged in that 24-pin ATX, underneath that, you've got your CPU. There should be one labeled on there. It says CPU. Okay, yes. Ma map? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, th I think it's graphics card time. Uh -huh. Graphics time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unboxing either. something that's out of stock cool. for many people. Gemma, you're playing with fire. <laughs> yeah. It's let's, like a let's... golden gem. Let's unbox it. Are you ready to rumble? Let's go. Everybody's so excited. <laughs> wow, uh, check ooh, it out. I like it. That's a nice one. I love when they do the th the three fans like that. So pretty. Imagine if it didn't fit in the case. <laughs> no, I did check that. I did check that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it's pretty heavy now. <laughs> the silver yeah. slot is the one it wants to go in. Yep, yeah, that one. Yeah, almost uh, did. Okay, so you will have phew. your power cables to power your CPU, your uh, motherboard, and your graphics card. So grab your extension cables you have over there on the side, and you're gonna match them up and line them up with the cables that are coming off of your PSU. Yeah, you tune it. we got yes. two in. Looking good. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Your graphics card needs two, so plug uh, like put them together because it's six plus two. Yeah. And then plug them both into that like eight. Yeah. So you've got I think you've got one six plus two connector there, uh -huh. but you need you need another one of those because your graphics card requires a second one. Another one like that. Yeah, there should be. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Just plugging in the rest of the cables and the PC's done. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, it's gonna be so nice to play on 3070. I know. We did it. We did, we did it. it. We built this PC on Twitch TV, baby. Solid. Nice. It's in. It's on. Well, I really appreciate you guys. No problem. I've never yeah. been able to do it alone. Thank you guys for hanging out. I really appreciate you all. I will be sharing pics once it is up and running. Hope you guys had fun. Also, follow uh, Brit and Josh. They are honestly extremely knowledgeable YouTubers. Okay. We'll